everybody, I'm Kate Welshofer, and this is No Teleprompter, No Mercy, the weekly web series that likes to refer to itself in the third person. No Teleprompter, No Mercy is happy you're here. I went on Facebook and Twitter and said, anybody need advice? Tell me, what's your problem? Here's what I learned. That is a loaded question. Also, many of you apparently inadvertently indicated that you have a problem with reading comprehension, but a number of you did ask for advice on a range of topics, and so I'm going to talk about them right now. Let's get into it. Derek asks, how do I get out of this damn winter depression, Kate? One word. Share. Snap out of it. Also this. Next question, number two comes from John says, I can't seem to win the lottery. Uh, more of a statement than a question, but there are a number of question marks after so uh, that helps. Presumably you're wondering why that is. Um, my suggestion is research probability. Question number three comes from Evan. Should I rock or should I roll or both? Both. Gary asks, Foursquare or Windsor? Neither. Bolo. Kidding. Windsor. Next question from Amy. How can we eradicate the inappropriate use of apostrophes to pluralize words? That's a great question, Amy, because as you may know, or maybe you don't know, today is National Grammar Day. So it's the perfect time to answer this question. Let me handle it right now. <clears throat> Stop it! I think I handled that one pretty well. Next question comes from Mike who asks, how can I not pay taxes? You gotta get off the grid, brother. You gotta do it now. You gotta get real comfortable with doing things with your own urine that normal taxpayers don't have to worry about. Good luck. This next question was a pretty popular one as it turns out. How can I get a date with you? Okay, this is really a simple, very simple two-step process. I'm gonna give it to you right now. I hope you're listening. Are you ready? Get a pen or a paper or if you just remember it. Um, but here you go. Step one. Ask my ex-boyfriends. Step two, you don't. Next question. Greg, turn my lower level into a full gym or a full bar with my guitar collection on the walls. Hybrid. Welcome to the jungle, Jim. Keeping it moving with the next question from Nick. Why do nice guys finish last? Uh, because they believe in tired old cliches or they're not as nice as they think they are. Next question comes from Reese who asks, how can I swap my 2013 R1 engine into my 97 YZ250 frame? Are you messing with me? Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, basically we're talking motorcycles here. This is a, a Yamaha crotch rocket, you know, to street legal. Um, but the engine's going into uh, basically a dinosaur of, of a dirt bike, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but um, it can be done, particularly if you're getting into professional climbing, if that's uh, the route you're gonna go. Um, but we're talking a lot of welding, a lot of fabrication, uh, big job, a lot of time. Unless you're going to Pogue's Hole, I don't know that uh, you're gonna wanna put the time into it. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you can do it. And um, yeah, let me know how it goes. Next question, Michael, what is gravity? Really? Well, consistent. All right, last question, by far my favorite. Joseph asks, how do you follow a dream when you are the only financial source for a family with a wonderful wife and three kids without irresponsibly upsetting their lives? Easy one. The truth is, Joseph, it's probably easier than you think. I love this question because I think a lot of people struggle with it. When it comes to following a dream, you can find a million reasons not to. The list can be endless. So here's my advice, which is advice that somebody gave me and I think it's really, really helpful. Instead of thinking of it as one or the other, or these two big extremes, when it comes to following a dream or doing something that you really want to do, just take a step, one step. If you wait for the perfect opportunity to do anything, it will probably never happen. So that's why I think the best advice really is to take one small step and one small step leads to another step and gets you closer to what you want to do and also makes you happier while you're doing it because it feels like you're accomplishing something and doing something for yourself, which I think is always a good thing. So thanks, Joseph, and good luck and report back. I'm tapped out. I'm all set with the advice for today. Before I go though, are you familiar with the URLs, facebook.com and twitter.com? I am on both of those platforms and you can find the links below. Follow all the things. Thank you for liking and for commenting on this video. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you next time.